Alright, so for this video I will be doing a part 2 of cool jumps and just cool tricks you can do in Lethal Company. Uh, to start off, I'm going to show you a cruiser trick I did on stream not too long ago. Uh, I did not invent this trick, I got it from my Discord where we have a lot of tech that goes on, a lot of info that people find and it's great. So to start off this trick, you're going to make sure the lever is up. Make sure it's on so that the magnet will bring in the company cruiser. You're going to have the company cruiser positioned as so by fire. You're going to make sure that you get all five jumps. So spray a weed killer, make sure you have jumps. Go ahead and turn on the car. Now for this first jump, you're going on top of the warehouse. You want to put it in drive. You're going to jump straight up, so not touching anything, and then jump and hold W at the same time. That'll get you on. Once you're on, drive to the right of this. You're gonna line up with the side of this. This is what I like to do. There's many ways to do it, though. Then what I like to do is, right now I'm holding S to break, but I slowly let go of S, and then tap it again. Make sure I'm headed straight. You can see right here I'm heading straight. Then what you're going to do is jump twice really fast holding W. And then a single jump after. So here's the two jumps. And then one more jump. And so that third jump you can use to readjust towards the magnet. If you need to go a little bit right just hold D to turn the wheel right and jump. And you'll jump slightly to the right. Or if you need to go straight just jump not touching anything or if you need to go left same thing just hold A and hit jump but then your cruiser's back on ship our next trick is here on Vow a lot of people might know this or have seen it but there have also been plenty of people who have been curious on how to do this so anytime you have items that you just need to bring up it is usually faster to just jump up the bridge here. So what you're going to do is position yourself with this line that goes all the way up. As you can see prior, the line is at a little bit of a slant to the right. So as you're jumping, you also need to tap to your right. So D as you're jumping up. And doing that will allow you to stay in line with the crack here or this curve, this corner. So I'm just jumping and holding and tapping W and then if I get too far to the right I tap D so I just tap W and D at the same time as I jump just a small little tap but yeah you'll just stay in line with this corner all the way up the best you can this next one is on assurance and it's pretty useless but very fun to do just goofing around there's your ship you're gonna climb this entire rock all you're doing is just jumping up the side here so you're going to jump and keep going right and just hug the rock. You're going to keep looping around it right. It'll seem like you're going to fall off, but you're not. Just keep hugging the right until you can find a place to jump up, and it'll let you. Also, on assurance, you can get up to fire exit using the pipe here. So there's your ship. And what you're going to do is you need to be on this right side. So you're going to crouch, uncrouch, jump. Go ahead and loop around, stay on this right side, crouch, crawl up a little bit, uncrouch, jump, and then what you're going to do is a little jump around, jump on this rock, and jump on the pipe. From here you can run all the way to fire if you want to. Next one is on March, and it's going to be using terminal clipping like before in the previous parkour video. So you're going to get in this corner, drag the left side of the terminal to the left side of that AC right there, how I have it lined up. Then you're going to pull lever, get in terminal, look at this corner here where the AC meets the wall, and walk forward once the hologram of the terminal goes away. So here we go, I'll show you that. Pull lever, get in here, hologram goes away and I just tap W. There you go. 
Here I'm just going to go over most of the fence jumps that are on Artifice. Pretty much all of them. So, on Art, you can come over this right side if you need to. You're just going to get some speed and you can jump on and over the fence here. And from here you can just loop around to ship. The next one is this fence here. Say there's like some giants, old birds, or dogs over there. You can go in this corner and just jump up the side here. And then jump up. This you can use a little to loop around a ship. For this next one, you can get up this fence if needed. You can jump up the side here. Get over. You can also do the same thing over here to get back on this other side. You can do it in less jumps there, but I was a bit sloppy. Hey there, pal. Say it's getting late and you need to get back to the ship, but there's a lot around ship. You can use the same fence jump here as before and get up onto the hill. And then what you can do is you're going to be on this hill and wait for the ship to take off. And you're going to be at the bottom part here. What will happen is the ship will come right up to you and you can jump on it. And all I'm going to do is jump on it when it gets close. There you go. To end this, I'm going to go over some Adamant's jumps I may not have covered in the past. This one's a really good one when coming back to ship from the interior of the pit. You can go kind of next to this bridge, make sure you're on the right side of this slope, and you can just walk up, jump once with any weight, and make it up. It'll be right here. Another one you can do is from pit or from going up there as I've displayed before. You can walk right up the side here, jump right where this geometry meets. It'll just jump right up. You can do that with any weight. You can also just walk up it. You don't have to jump. So this is really helpful with flooded. Even if it, the flooded's above your head, you don't need to jump. You can just take your time unlike I did there. If you take your time, you can just slowly make your way up. Additionally, you can just always jump to the house. This is a good place for baiting giants. If there's a giant and your team meets the giant away, you can just kind of chill here and watch it. This next one I have is if you need to get up to the fire exit from this area, you can do this on any FPS. And what you will do is you're going to jump up as so you're going to not move you're going to jump first then move so jump first then move that's your first jump you're going to make sure you have full stamina and so you're going to do that keep running against the wall and trying to spam spacebar and you're going to do three total jumps so your first one's this you're going to jump again and then one time after that up to this area so here i'll demonstrate you jump once I'm spamming spacebar, trying to jump again. There's the second jump. There's the third. And you're up. Now, another one right after this is any time that the bridge is broken, and this is probably the most well-known one, any time the small bridge by fire is broken, you can still make it across just by jumping on this little beam here and jumping across. And I've gone over the tree jump in the past, but I'm also going to show that one one last time. So you can put all your items right in this corner. Say I have an engine. I'm going to jump up, place it right up there. Then all you're going to do is now, in V56, you can just walk up the tree as long as you have decent FPS. Like I think 60 or above. But anyways, you get up on this tree, you're just going to jump and hug the wall as soon as possible. So jump, hug the wall, 
That'll give you plenty of room to get up. Then you can grab your engine, walk right over this hill, and transfer any loot you have to ship. Those are all the jumps I have for you today. I am working on getting a fox guide and a solo high quota guide up soon, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, mi usual stuff, make sure, you know, subscribe, join the Discord, follow the Twitch, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.